Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC again, and I'm, I'm a little dressed up uh, because in like 10 minutes I have to leave to shoot my friend's wedding. I'm taking pictures for him. I'm really excited, but I've been waiting all damn day for this box to come, and I was going to pull out my hair if it didn't arrive in time because this is the knife I wanted to carry to the wedding. So let's open it up. Right now. Because I'm, I'm kind of in her, like, right now. <laughs> So, this, uh, what's in this box represents the most money I've ever spent on a single knife. Ever. Uh, prior to this, it was the Spyderco Drunken, which it was my backup carry in case this didn't arrive. It's, it's been a very stressful few hours. Um, it is raining, I get it, it's a hard job to be a mail carrier, but that's besides the point. I'm very excited about this, I've been on the hunt for this for a very long time. Oh, and it's finally here. Um, and we're going to open it up. I know it feels like blasphemy to, <laughs> to use <laughs> to use the Spyderco Colsa in such a, a momentous occasion. But uh, here we are. Uh, I'm a psychopath and or sociopath. I'd have to ask my wife which one. Maybe both. Just don't tell her I bought this, okay? Um, so like I said, this comes from USA Made Blade. And it was very expensive. It's also in a very large box. Uh... So yeah, we're gonna dig in because I, I just can't want I you know, I'm in a hurry. I kind of wanted to savor this moment, but uh, thanks to the Postal Service, thank you for your service, but Jesus, come on, man. I didn't know I had to call ahead and say, I'm a little, hey, we'll press for time here, pal. Oof. Packing slip. Uh, thank you for shopping with us. Goodbye. You ready? Because <laughs> I'm not. Oh, nice. A big sticker. And yeah. There it is. There it is. Ow. Nothing left in there. Oh, it comes with, with a rag. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? And a sticker. Put the calls away because we don't need it anymore. You know? I've... Put this off for a long time. Um, one, because I never understood the draw. I'm a slut for good action. I'm a slut for good looks. This had the looks, but from everything I understood, it didn't have the action. But uh, a friend of mine, Marty, Knife Eclectic, let me know that this was in stock. They had one. This is the exact one I wanted. And it was a lot of money. It was... $50. So, <laughs> thank God for Sezzle. Or actually, PayPal paying for. Thank God. Oh, I just, and this is, uh, yeah, we're just going to open it up. Very nice packaging. Very sturdy box. I feel like I'm unboxing a Rolex right now. The big CR, the Chris Reeves, large and cozy S45VN, and Singo, my card inlays, born on April 27th, 2022, the year of our Lord, hollow to be thy grind. Beautiful. This nice... Like, this whole experience is luxurious beyond beyond my wildest dreams. That feels too dark. That feels much better. Little moody class lighting, huh? We have a big old sticker in here. I feel like I'm filing uh, uh, my taxes with all of this. In this little file folder, American Made Knife of the Year, blah, blah, blah. Beautiful stuff. What else do we have in this box? Other things. Don't doubt. Wow. All the tools we have fluorinated grease and Loctite that's nice I'm, I'm kind of already I haven't even seen the knife I'm already kind of like I get where my money's going I totally understand it and the tools to take the damn thing apart all very nice touches little it's the little things that really do it for me and at this price point there better be a hell of a lot of little things you know what I mean so beautiful little toolkit nice foam very cushy well protected the Chris Reeves Ooh, can you guys see that Oof. Oh. Mm. Mm. Let's let's get her out. Oh, let's move that aside. <sighs> That's lovely. Swaddled like a newborn babe in the nice cloth with the origami folds. I would love to see who does this in the factory. Who's just like, uh, yes, uh, yeah, you know? 
Oh, final fold. Oh my gosh, you talk about protect. Oh yeah, protected. This is a head. Look how big this is. It's like a bath towel. That is incredible. I'm telling you, man, it's the little things. I get where the 550 comes from. The packaging's 100 bucks. The little toolkit's another 100 bucks. The rag's 50 bucks. So the knife's only 300 bucks at the end of the day, the way I look at it. This is the... Oh, let me zoom you on in. This is the CRK Large Incosi Insingo Blade in S4, in, with in S45 VN Idaho made with love and pride. I've handled a few. CRKs in my time, but I've never owned one. And if I was ever going to own one, it was going to be this one. Uh, the inlays, my card is nice, good texture to it. The insane heavy stone washing. Little stamp there, CR logo, Idaho made. Idaho or Udaho, you know what I mean? <laughs> the pocket clip. That's bothersome. I'm gonna nitpick. This is the most expensive knife ever. A pre-installed lanyard. I, you know, I appreciate that, but I don't want it. Uh, but whatever. Crown spine. I'm not even opening it yet. Crown spine. Beautiful. Double thumb studs. This is the Inkosi. Hefty. Heavy feeling knife. Uh, let's just open it. Flicks pretty damn well. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh boy. That is a thing of beauty. That blade shape, dude, just does it for me in so many ways. Oh, good god. I love it. Kind of like a like a special needs platypus kind of vibe. Hefty lockup. Lockups what? What is that? A good 50% or more? Decent access for the lock bar. Beautiful. Is that a hollow grind? Better be 550 bucks. This better be the sharpest damn knife I ever. It better be a hollow grind. Is that not a hollow grind? I can't tell. Whatever it is, it's beautiful. It looks like a hollow grind, a subtle hollow grind. Nice kind of polished stone wash going on there. Oof. Beautiful factory edge. Yeah, and there's that action that everybody. Uh oh. Can you ever? Can you Spidey flick it? Nope. <laughs> nope. Not even close. You can risk the shit out of it, though. God, look at the jimping up there. This crown spine. Everything is so well done. Good lord. I mean, I get it. I get it. It does feel... I get the... the uh, in. That's gonna bug me, man. I'm gonna have to take this thing apart. And or play with it, like, 24 hours a day. I know that's not the point of a Chris Reeves knife, blah, blah, blah. It's not a fidget toy, it's a tool. Shut up. F*** you, whoever you are. I hate you. I hate you. You're probably my grandfather's age, okay? This is the future, this is 2022. Chris Reeves slapped some bearings in this thing, okay? I'm so in love with the looks, though, that I can give the... Also, this is not helping the action at all. But... Man, I get, I get that kind of... Honestly, it feels kind of gritty. <laughs> feels kind of gritty. I know these are meant to break in over time and they just get better and better and better. This is literally brand new. It was born like a week and a half ago. So here I was bitching about the, the, the mailman. Oh boy. God, that is beautiful. Ergos, choke back. That feels wonderful. I mean, you got the little ergonomic lines there. Tons of room. Choke it back. That's beautiful. You can choke up. Kind of give the old trigger pull there. Oh, nice jimping, the soft, subtle touch of that crown spine. People always complain that the inlays are really uncomfortable. I'm not feeling that, dude. I think that feels great. I'm totally fine with that. Wow. It truly is a beautiful thing, and I think that's why I was drawn to it and why I wanted one so bad. Um, the internal lock bar relief. The, the Chris Reeves signature move. Yeah. I have, I have a Chris Reeves, and it is an S45 VN, and that blade, oh, that factory edge feels incredible. So we ought to cut something with it before I'm late for this wedding. Um, man, that's beautiful. Yeah. I'll break it in, or I'll force it in, and I might break it, but guess what? For 550 I better get my money back. You know what I mean? 
Oh yeah, I, I'll get it to a point. Okay, this, this has got to go. So do I just cut it off? I'm just cutting it off, I don't give a shit. Is this like blasphemy? I don't know. It might be, um, do I have scissors somewhere? Surgery, uh, 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 nurse scalpel, please. Uh, I'm not using Nicole, so we'll use this. Little, we'll use this little cutie right here. Come here. They did not make this easy, did they? How do you get it off? I'm gonna injure myself. Oop, I hit the microphone. Come off! Oh, I hate lanterns! Oh, I hate it! Oh, I'd rather... Oh, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Yeah! Thank God! Why? Why? It's my biggest complaint. This, this! We don't want this! If anybody wants to buy it... I don't know where that went. If I find it and you want to buy that lanyard uh, from uh, Chris Reeves, from the factory, hit me up. <laughs> hit me up but we're gonna cut something with this it is already like noticeably smoothing out like just for me farting around with it right now a little bit of lock stick right there but only when i like really give it the beans can you front flip it <gasps> oh i'm gonna you can what you can front flip it see a little nubbin right there you can get a hold of that thing and out she comes. I can't wait for this. Okay, you can kind of. You can kind of. It's a work in progress, okay? It is a brand spank new knife. Let me get the phone book out. O'Connor Achani Levy. Attorneys you know. Attorneys you trust. If you're from the Cincinnati area, you'll get that reference. So let me zoom you out. We'll put this S45VN slicer to the test. Wow. <laughs> That's a wow. Wow. I don't know what else to say. That feels great. That is a dynamite factory edge. B oh my god, it's butter. Choil the tip. Every, every inch of that blade is just outrageous. Wowee. Got some noticeable bite, noticeable tooth to it, but for a factory edge, to be this well done and still have a good amount of tooth, good amount of bite to it, I'm impressed. Um, wow. Yeah, she ain't, she ain't just a pretty face, ladies and gentlemen. The CRK, the Chris Reeves knives, large and cozy with natural micarta inlays and the Insingo blade. It's mine, I own this. Um, I feel like I, I've reached a point in my career where one, I've, I've worked my ass off for two years for almost, well, coming up on a year and a half or so. Um, and I've earned this. Um, and two, I, I can I even call myself a knife reviewer without having like actually owned one? And the answer I got to over and over and over again was no. And the other answer I got to was I just love the way it looks. So here we are, the CRK, large and cozy. I dig it. I dig it, God, it's beautiful. It is a, it is a thing of beauty. I will be carrying this today and I'll probably beat the hell out of it. Because I've earned, I've earned that much. You know what I mean? So that's it from me. All the pomp, all the circumstances over. I need to go take pictures of a wedding. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. This is just the unboxing and the first impressions. There will be a uh, full review at some point down the line, but who knows when, you know? Give me a year to break it in and then I'll do a full review. But uh, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now. Bye.